Hello again everyone and welcome back to Melbury Estate. It's been quite a long time and we've got to finish our whole crop harvest in field number 15. Uh, but we need to change the trailer first of all. Now we do have this flegel. However, if I can, I'm going to try and get the Stuart mod trailer. Because it just looks so much better. Uh, but first of all, we're going to have to make sure we can afford it. I believe it costs around £24,000. Obviously we only have 2000 So somehow I'm going to have to source a bit more money. Now I could sell this tractor or I could take out a loan. I'm thinking I'll probably take out a loan because we're going to make a lot of money from the whole crop harvest so we'll easily be able to pay it back. And it also that way we won't have to sell a tractor. So off to the store and we'll probably take a loan out. So apologies for not getting a video out to you yesterday, things were just really busy, so I just couldn't do one. Uh, but I think, really, one day, I think in a, in a month, not doing a video, it's quite good. Got to try and keep it up. So here we are. Um, we need to, well I'm hoping, to be able to use the New Holland to tow it. However, we obviously have that hitch problem. Now, a lot of you did respond to this and... Uh, very grateful for it. Apparently if you put a weight on the back you can attach it to that so we could try that however I'm hoping the Stuart trailer um, will have a lower hitch or something anyway so that we can actually put it on there uh, but it could be a problem with the tractor itself which I think it is. So we'll just have to see we'll see what's going on here. So we'll jump into our little ATM here and we'll borrow some money. 27 should do and that way we should be able to buy, if I just go into the store here, we should be able to get the Stuart trailer. There it is, looking good. And you can actually add silage sides to it so you can do uh, carry more on each load. Look at that. Just couldn't resist using it. And I know it was highly requested as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll park that up there We'll try and attach the new Holland to it. If it doesn't work, we'll put a weight on it and see if that works. If all else fails, we'll just use our little green tractor. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. So it means we can now use this tractor on the trailer. Now, um, let me just get used to all the controls. A silage body. Oh, yes. Look at that. Brilliant. So that is ready to go to work now. Nice blue setup here as well. Kind of part that in the way. Should probably move it. And we'll head to the harvester. And I really want to get that field finished today. I'm not sure what the capacity is of this but I would have thought it would be more than the Flegel and we've also got more power to pull up that hill so the whole process should be speeded up look at our money, we're back at the money that we had when we started off not to worry, we'll soon get it back It's going to get easier as well as we go through the field because there's going to be a bigger turning circle at the end. At the moment it's a bit tight, getting in the way a bit, but uh, yeah, it should get easier. Now this time round we're going to hit a pylon, so hopefully this thing will know to avoid that. The auto combine tends to be quite good, so we shouldn't have too many problems. I'm also considering getting the manual attach mod to make it a bit more realistic as I know a lot of you are saying there are more things I can do to make it more realistic so I will be doing that in the future. The soil mod, uh, I don't know, I don't know really whether to do that or not. The thing I'm quite wary of in these videos is not to overdo it too much. I don't really want to overcomplicate things so 
Although I'm sure it's a very good mod, I don't know if I'll be doing it in these videos. But yeah, definitely want to try out the manual attach mod. As, uh, it does seem a bit unrealistic that you can just press Q and you just drop the trailer and then attach it again, as if it weighs nothing. Yeah, I've just dropped the game sound a little bit. I don't really know what's going on with this microphone. It's a very expensive one. It's an Audio Technica AT2020 USB. And, well, it used to be really good. But these, well, the past week especially, it started to really crackle, which is weird. I don't know why it's doing it. I haven't touched it in any way. So, I don't know why it would be doing that. You would think it would do that if you dropped it or something, but it hasn't moved at all. So, why it's happening? No idea. Okay, it didn't avoid the pylon. That's of course being my sound effect for high voltage. It wasn't very good, I know. I'm working on it. To guess, it looks like the capacity of the trailer is around 38,000 litres, just by guessing to see what the fill level is at. Of course, I could easily check. It is 23,300 litres. Not as much as I thought, but still good. A very nice trailer. our third time round. I think it is. Yeah, it definitely makes a big difference having a bigger tractor. You can really feel the power. I find it funny that it's like ripe, the crop is ripe, but then it comes out as chaff which is green. And I've questioned this before, and I said are you supposed to do it when it's sort of almost ready but not quite ripe? And everyone just replied and said yeah, just do it as it is, so I guess I'm doing it right. I keep doing these whole crop harvests and no one seems to complain. It just seems weird that that's like a golden colour and then that's green. I like the mud flaps as well. They really do add a lot to the trailer, looks wise. It does make it look a lot better. Okay, so we have got 37,800. What? 37,800. Oh, I know what's going on here. The capacity I looked at for the mod was for the grain trailer. We've obviously put the extra sides on. So it is 37,800. Not too far off my guess of 38,000. Uh, we'll put the beacons on, we'll go in cab and we will do a bit of road driving. Oh, I love the power. The power of the blue. I'm a bit of a red fan myself but can't really say too much when I'm in a blue tractor. New Hans are pretty good though, it has to be said. I do like Matthew Ferguson. John Deere are pretty good. I think New Hans are good. I think, really, they're all pretty good. It's just... The looks... I think, I think a lot of people base 
what tractor they like on the looks rather than the reliability or the spec which is involved so if a tractor looks good you'll like it but if a tractor looks really bad but it's actually a really good tractor underneath you maybe won't like it I think a lot of it is based on the colour and the looks of it but let's not get into that because I know that starts many arguments we could go on all night arguing about what is the best tractor And back to the field. Now thinking about it, we're going to have to get a machine to actually clamp that silage pit. And I don't think we have a telehandler. I don't think we do. So we'll probably just have to use a tractor. But I'll see what we've got. Now I have done a little bit more. Probably a seamless transition then, but I have actually done another load in between this one and the previous one. actually taking a lot longer than I thought. This field is actually really big. It may take longer than just this episode. Now that is something I didn't notice before. Wow! I never knew it had that on the back. That is so realistic. It's just like the real ones. That is fantastic. Oh, so busy looking at the flashing light on the back, I have lost track of where I am and I've gone driven through the crops. Now I'm hoping this time it'll actually be able to go round the pylon rather than crash into it. That is why I didn't record the second load, because it did crash into it again, but this has hopefully sorted the problem. I'm surprised, the Auto Combine usually can see stuff like that. So we're almost another trailer full, we'll take it to the pit and I think we'll probably set up a tractor or something on the, the clamp next time, instead of wasting time here. 
do it before we set off and uh, that way we'll always be able to get back to the, the pit without having to get that message up saying that it's full with no more space left which I'm starting to get now it's amazing how quickly it fills now let's see how quickly it can go up this hill the other tractor really struggled this one should be able to do it as if it's not even there now it's creeping down a little bit but 25 miles per hour is still really good yep that is good so I'm really pleased that we've actually been able to put this tractor on this trailer I really wouldn't have wanted it on that really small little Deutz valve um, although it might be able to pull it in real life it's just I prefer to have it on this one as we've got it and it also matches it's blue trees lots of trees Right, so I'm not sure how full that pit is. Uh, without driving over it, it probably can't hold too much more. But we'll head back for the next load. So Gold Edition obviously comes out really soon and one thing that I am probably going to do and this isn't to make it unfair to people but it's actually to make it fairer in a way although you could argue that it is unfair and fair so I haven't really properly decided whether to do it or not but obviously the multiplayer server is currently on Cobra Park Farm which you need a fairly good computer to play on uh, and obviously because Gold Edition is coming out that has a new map and I was thinking we could probably transfer it over to the new map which means that you will need a lower end PC to run it which means more people should be able to play on it. Uh, now the problem which I can see is and some some people are going to say well that's unfair because I don't have gold edition so although it's going to be fair at the same time it's going to be unfair so I really don't know what to do for the best I think probably the best thing to do I might do a vote so I can let the majority of you choose or if I don't really get any complaints at all I'll just transfer anyway so I don't know we'll see but the last thing I want to do is to upset people because that is the total opposite of what I want to do obviously I already know that the competitions already caused a bit of a, a stir up because some of you can't get into the server um, but yeah there will be more giveaways in the future so don't worry um, it's just the first one it's, I'm really treating this one as a trial run to see if it actually works so although you might not be able to enter it, next time you probably will be able to. Wow, this field is taking a long time. 
I was really thinking we'd get it done all today. But it, well, I suppose this is going quite slowly because it's on a worker. It goes slower than the maximum speed you can do if you're driving it yourself. But you can see what we've done. If we were going up and down the field, it would be a lot more noticeable to what we've done. It's because we're going around the outskirts. And yeah, I will do more off screen next time because I do want to move on. I don't want to drag this over any more episodes except for the next one. So if we if it looks like it's gonna to be too much again, I'll just do a load off screen. Keep the best bits in. I think that's it for today, so what I'll do is I'll turn the harvester off, I'm going to unload, and finish next time. Yeah, we'll definitely get it done next time. I can say that with confidence, unlike before, and I was totally wrong. Okay, here we go final one of today. I think we've done, how many have we done? Five loads today? I think we have. Right then, let's just see how full it is. 74% full. It looks like they're quite small silage pits. So we'll probably fill both of these. But yep, the job for next time is to first of all bring a machine to start clamping and then we'll be able to continue, fill them both, finish the field and then we'll have lots of money, well waiting to be sold uh, for money when we'll be able to buy lots of new machinery. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.